Well, welcome, Cecilia. It's so great to have you here this morning. The Trade Commissioner of the European Union, together with Australia's Trade Minister, Stephen Chobo. This is a great day, because Cecilia is here uh, to announce the commencement of the negotiations for an Australia-European Union free trade agreement. We know that trade means jobs. Free trade and open markets means more jobs for Australians and for Europeans, more opportunities, more investment. There's $165 billion of European investment in Australia and over $100 billion of Australian investment in Europe. There's $100 billion worth of two-way trade. It's a market of over 500 million people with a GDP of over $17 trillion. It's a huge opportunity. It's, there's the opportunity to do so much more and create so many more jobs. Now, my government is committed to free trade. We are not ever going to give up on the opportunities to create more markets, more opportunities for Australians to invest, to export, to trade, because we know that means jobs. That's why we kept going with the Trans-Pacific Partnership after the US under President Trump pulled out. And when many people, including Bill Shorten, said it was dead, he actually said, I was deluded, continuing with the free trade negotiation. Can you imagine that? Such pessimism. Anyway, we had none of that. We kept going with it, and we now have the Trans-Pacific Partnership signed. Stephen went to South America and signed it up in Chile and, uh, and in March, and so we have the TPP-11. This can be another great free trade agreement. So, Cecilia, it's great that you're here. Welcome, and look forward to to hearing from you about the great opportunities and the big horizons for Australia-European trade. Thank you very much, uh, Prime Minister. It's uh, a real honour to be here with you, uh, with Stephen, uh, uh, of course, uh, to launch formally these uh, trade negotiations between Australia and the European Union. As we've seen with Australia participating in the Eurovision co contest, our cultural <laughs> ties are very deep. <laughs> but of course, we also share so much history, so much values, mm. and our commitment to free trade and to multilateral uh, rules. We have already a strong, strong trade relationship uh, stretching back hundreds of years and uh, the EU is Australia's second biggest trading partner already today. We share similar views on how we think world trade should work. We defend open trade, rule-based and fair and this is what we're going to cement in our free trade agreement. So it's a happy day today. I'm really happy to be here to, to formally launch the negotiations of a deal that can offer possibilities to our citizens, consumers and to our companies, of course, creating big economic opportunities, but also <coughs> bindling our people and our continents closer together. We have concluded, as you have, also a ambitious trade agenda, Canada, Japan, Singapore, Mexico, and we are looking very much forward to adding Australia to that circle of uh, like-minded trade partners. It is a challenging time, so it's really good to see that Australia shares our commitment to positive trade agenda and to the idea that good trade agreements are win-win agreements. This will offer economic benefits. Our trading goods have gone up steadily recently, reaching now 48 billion euros last year. And this could, of course, be boosted even further with the trade agreement, making it possible uh, to create new jobs. And we will focus specifically on the small and medium-sized companies, offering them uh, possibilities. And, of course, widen the choices for our consumers. We have made an impact assessment that shows that trading goods uh, between Australia and the EU, if we have this ambitious agreement in place, could increase with 37%. Um, we have, of course, seen your ambitious trade agenda, the Trans-Pacific Agreement and others. So, uh, of course, our business are eager to have the same access to, to your market, uh, to have a, a level playing field important for our exports, motor equipment, machinery, chemicals, processed food and services. And for you, I know that having access to uh, 500 million uh, people uh, or consumers is offering major opportunities for the business. 
and we will, uh, as I said, focus for on the small companies, facilitating the procedures, cutting red tape, increasing knowledge of how the process works, and cutting the costs of exporting. Uh, economic interests aside, this is also important because trade agreements are also linking people together and it's bringing us closer, <laughs> sending a strong signal today that we are like-minded partners, we are coming together, we are ready to define uh, common values uh, when it comes to workers' rights, environmental protection, uh, consumers' rights. So we launch these negotiations. Our teams will meet in two weeks in Brussels to start the technical work already. Uh, there will be a few difficulties, but I am confident that we can overcome it, and I'm looking very much forward to a strong future relationship, and I'm extremely happy to be here today. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Thank you, thank Stephen, you, for, for thank being you, here. Thank you. Stephen. Uh, well, thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, Cecilia. Uh, well, today we formally commence negotiations on a free trade agreement between Australia and the EU. The EU is our second largest market, a market worth 20, nearly $23 trillion Australian. Uh, it's a market with whom Australia can do so much more, uh, building on the strength of not only our people-to-people -people links, uh, in many respects this rich vein of heritage uh, of European descent in Australia, but also making sure that we look to the future. Uh, Europe, like Australia, is a highly mature, highly developed economy. Uh, and I know from speaking with numerous Australian <laughs> businesses, they are genuinely so excited about the opportunity to be able to grow trade and investment ties with the European Union. Uh, in that vein, is that a division, a division. is it? This is we, something we're going to have to we, do. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we will return. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be Sorry. Back. We have to go and vote. Oh, <laughs> she can answer all the questions. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> now. <laughs>